Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a topic that I briefly touched on in a prior video, but I do want to dedicate an entire video just to this subject, that of course being the potential return of Harumi in Ninjago Dragons Rising, and why I think they will not do that. Now, with Ninjago Dragons Rising, the merged caused a perfect opportunity for Ninjago to do away with several older side characters. They are simply lost in the merge. Characters like Garmadon, Pixel, Dareth, and of course, Harumi, who we last saw in Ninjago Crystallized having been redeemed, at least somewhat, and I know that a lot of Ninjago fans had Harumi at the top of their wish list in terms of characters that they would love to see return in Ninjago Dragons Rising. However, I don't think they will ever introduce Harumi ever again, and that's not to say that I don't want Harumi to come back. I'm a Harumi fan, I think it would be awesome to see her come back, but do I think Ninjago will do it? Probably not. And there's one major reason why they probably will not do it, that of course being controversy. Back during Harumi's return, there was controversy galore throughout the Ninjago community. You had people fighting over whether or not it was ethical for Harumi to come back at all, or even more so whether or not it was even okay for Harumi to be redeemed. Depending on who you talk to in the Ninjago community, you will see a very different series of results. Even some folks on the Ninjago staff, like Tommy Andreessen, had some hate thrown their way due to their comments about Harumi. More so, the positive comments and the hopeful comments regarding Lloyd and Harumi's relationship possibly blossoming into something romantic. A lot of Ninjago fans hate that idea for various reasons. I personally feel like some people go a little bit too far in their hatred towards Harumi, but at the end of the day, it is a fictional character and Lego sees that as well. They see the controversy, they decide, hey, maybe it's not worth it to bring this character back, maybe it was a mistake to bring this character back in the first place, and maybe we should never include this character in anything ever again. I personally would not like that, I would love to see Harumi come back at some point in Ninjago Dragons Rising, but I feel like Lego, Ninjago, and everyone else would probably benefit a little bit more if Ninjago reintroduced other side characters first. Like I said, Garmadon, Pixel, etc. As always, it is possible for Harumi to return in Ninjago Dragons Rising, but I don't think it's very likely. In fact, Harumi is one of those characters that I least expect to see, and I would be very shocked if we ever see her again. But of course, leave all your thoughts down below, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. What do you guys think about all of this? Do you think that Harumi's character should just be removed from Ninjago forever, or would you like to see her back one day for Ninjago Dragons Rising? Leave all your thoughts down below, and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.